PDMYL Secretary General Benson Kashiriova is of the opinion that money for the independence celebrations could have rather been diverted to more pressing matters such as servicing of land or the creation of jobs for unemployed graduates. Kashiriova added that greed and corruption are the order of the day in Namibia, which in turn affects the ability of the state to provide basic needs such as constructing schools, especially in rural areas where learners are still taught under trees or makeshift structures. Youth unemployment stands at shocking 44%, with many young people left to fend for themselves through crime and other malicious activities. A university qualification has become a worthless paper. There are now more than 70,000 unemployment graduates. A university qualification has totally lost its value. Informal settlements have uh, sprung up all across the breadth and width of Namibia, standing out uh, in each and every city and town of Namibia. There are now more than 900,000 Namibians living in checks in Namibia. The PDMYL national spokesperson, Maximilian Kashimune, said that there seems to be a lack of political will or any clear-cut policies from leaders to address such challenges. So we feel that we cannot celebrate independence in landlessness, joblessness, homelessness and unemployment. And therefore we are calling on all Namibians to boycott this year's independence celebrations and stay at their home. Perhaps we must just stay at our homes rather than going to independent stadium and pray at our homes for Namibia rather than celebrating a Namibian vision that is simply not there. Government has indicated that a budget of $1 million was set aside for the Independence Day celebrations in the capital come 21st March. The Minister of Information and Communication Technology, Stanley Simata, when approached for comment, indicated that the issues raised by the PDMYL are not unique to Namibia and celebrating independence does not imply that challenges are not taken serious. He cautioned people from using such occasions to spread negative perceptions to the public.